Big stop by Eagle Crest, and here comes Dylan James in the offense. All right, we really do apologize for those technical difficulties. We hope that After you found defense, our new broadcast here um, since we had to restart some things. So first and 10. J.P. Lukatu. Carson Brantley, Alex Pell. Combine on the stop for the Bruins. Alec Pell on the stop for Cherry Eight Creek. On the play brings up second and two for the Raptors. So we have reached the end of the first quarter. So here, the, the end, end of, of one. one. Your score is zero to zero between the, the top tied. ranked Cherry Creek Bruins the and the number four Eagle Crest Raptors. Raptors. We'll go ahead and take just a slight break. We'll be back Raptors in just a moment. So, here we go. <laughs> so, second and two coming up for the Eagle Crest Raptors as we switch directions here on the field. Eagle Crest ball on their own 45-yard line. No one was able to come up with any points there in that first quarter, mainly due to the fact that these two defenses have been playing really lights out. I mean, Eagle Crest, for one, has been able to get to the quarterback and, and just apply just even a little bit of pressure and force Padilla to rush. Wouldn't you say that that's been a big factor? Yeah, he's been under duress. It just the receivers aren't getting open. I think one thing that's crazy to think is Eagle Crest has not thrown the ball in this game yet. Yeah, it's not been a all yeah. runs, all triple option, option like plays. Well, and that's just I using guess the ground. Would, that's what you would expect. They go to the ground on average three times more than they do. And I'm um, kind of assuming like the pass yards they do have like on the stat sheets just from maybe games they're winning by a lot and they're just testing out plays. But I think yeah. their bread and butter is just as running. This formation right here, where someone usually moves, like right there. Yep, and then they're going to hand the ball off. Yeah, some Up variation. So on second and two, we'll see what they even got. Luka two. They Fish got roughly the one yard. Luka two on the carry. For the Raptors. So yeah, third and two, third and one. Stopped on play by the Bruins front four. So third and one, big defensive stop if Cherry Creek can yeah, come up with it. Yeah, if they can stop him, that would be big. Let's see what happens. The handoff oh. up the middle looks to be uh, short is what Cherry oh, Creek. Oh, no, the second oh, push. That, that second push got second it. Effort. Flag Three. on the play, though. Flag Luke late. We'll yeah. see who it's on. There is a it's great job by the offensive field. line by Eagle Crest to keep it moving, but it may be. It looks like it's backing him up. I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, if it's against the Bruins, the penalty. So this drive will keep rolling. Yeah, it looks like it's a face mask call. Yeah, that's gonna get that's a 15 yard penalty. That's big. They got the first down anyway, but just the extra yardage too, not what you want. Yeah. 
So that'll give Eagle Crest the ball first and 10 from the 36 yard line, 11 19 left to work with before halftime. On the Bruins, we'll give the Raptors a first down in Bruins territory. Ball's officially spotted at the 36 yard line where the Raptors have a fresh set of downs to work with. James gets ready for the snap, hands it off quickly once again. Oh, it oh, looks like he wow, kept no, he it. He actually did, and Cherry Creek was all over that. Alec Pell. Yeah, number 23, the senior linebacker, got to him James quickly. For a loss on the play. James Alec Pell lost, I believe, roughly two. We'll see Raptors where they backfield. spotted, though. He did not just, Alec Pell crushed him. He yeah, was he not did. expecting yeah. someone to come from that backside. He sold the handoff well. Yeah, it fooled me. Yeah, I lost had track me of the ball. fooled, too. Couldn't figure out why no one was reacting. No one was trying to bring him down. But it's because James kept it. And that's honestly probably how he gets so many yards. Yeah. Again, James, their leading rusher. And, like, sometimes quarterbacks are. But this is this is legit. Lamar Jackson. James under heavy pressure. Screen. Oh, it. and he's oh. Oh, so close to being picked off. Their first throw <laughs> almost was a pick. Yeah, it looked like the running back bobbled it. James pass broken up. I think this Cherry Creek defense is playing the run. Yeah. They're stacking the box. They're saying, we're going to protect the run. and If you want to pass it, you can, but we're going to bring the heat. And yeah. I think Eagle Crest is just going to keep doing what they're doing. They're not having taken any shots downfield. That was their first throw, and it's just a little outlet pass. Brings up third down for the Raptors. Ball spotted at the... 39 yard line. We've got 13. 10 more minutes left here Today before halftime from Legacy Stadium. Your score remains 0 to 0. Eagle Crest trying to change that here. James, this time he, he keeps, keeps it himself it. once again. Oh, he went airborne. Oh, penalty. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it looks James like it'll be on the Bruins. On the there is a penalty marker on the field. Not quite sure what it was, but that'll yeah, be I'm big on I'm a third down. I'm curious what that was. Quarterback went airborne. I don't know if it relates to that. Late yeah, hit. so it does have to deal with. And that all they're trying the to they're trying to protect the quarterback just as easily as the NFL is. So first and ten coming up for the Raptors as they inch closer and closer to the red zone. They might even be in it. I think it's actually going to be right at the 20. So, yeah, they're in the red zone now. Yeah, that, striking territory. Yeah, that penalty is huge. Big play. They were just about to get off the field, but just that late hit. That's one of those mental mistakes. Yeah, and that's been a problem for Cherry Creek throughout the first quarter. A few offsides. Oh, he keeps oh, it. Dylan yeah. James. Oh, keeper James gets space. towards that first down marker not quite sure how Dylan much James, the ball carrier. he got Stop James on the play by number though he's running Carson as well as he always does and you know for most teams that doesn't go well most opposing teams when James is able to get his feet moving it spells trouble on the play. he's running the ball really well he's getting more than probably three yards per carry but on the season he's averaged 12.8 yards per That's carry crazy. <laughs> That's just shows insane. to go he gets a little bit of open space and he'll make you pay for it just have a thousand yards, but that is your average per yards yards per carry. Flag Hand on the play, play, blown up. Yeah, Penalty good Mark call. Flag on the play, but play blown up quickly. Yeah, false start, I'd assume. Raptors yeah, we'll get see. An early start. Penalty against the Raptors will back them up five yards. It was on the right guard. I don't. Think he yeah, it was that. on the right. Yeah, right guard. Don't know who that is. I don't believe we Probably have it listed up for us either. 18-yard line. We're to be second and eight. Second and eight coming up from the 18. Both teams have two timeouts remaining. 8.47 left here. Hand oh, he off. keeps it. Oh, yeah, it gets just up to right around that first down marker. James rushes for roughly seven. James carries all the way to the sticks. Just shy of the line to gain. Brings up third down and short for the Raptors. 
It's an interesting offense to watch. It just doesn't feel like they're really rolling, but here they are just marching down the field just with these short runs, short runs, short runs. Through to Bruins on the tackle. Yeah, and the runs seem to have also not really eaten as much clock as they did in that first half at least. Raptors offensive line wearing down the Bruins front. So Eagle Crest within striking distance, third and one. They they go onto the ground again. I believe he got enough. Yeah, it looks like they're going to yeah, give him forward progress. Anetchita, the ball carrier. carrier for the Raptors. He gets enough for the first down. So we first and goal coming up for Eagle Crest. They try to break the deadlock here. As we're Carson almost midway Lee. through this second First quarter. Anetchita in the hole. Mechita's carry is good for a Raptors. Isaiah Mechita, the senior, entered today's game with 53 attempts, 306 yards, and five First touchdowns. From the nine yard line. I believe second to James, Mechita is the leading rushing scorer for Eagle Crest. Another run play. Oh, this one gets really there. close Touchdown. to the goal line. Touchdown, Eagle Crest. Just that pile kept pushing. Bruins can stop him. Isaiah Imechito. Touchdown, Raptors. They haven't. Did they give the signal? Following the offensive line. They haven't yet. Atterbury, but I think that they Miller, think they have because Jake we have referees Wiley, lining Chris up for the PAT. Trevor but Barrios. no, they haven't. <laughs> but they think they. Draw first blood here must at be good. Stadium. Because that's what they're preparing for. So six nothing Eagle Crest. Nice job by Eagle Crest O lineman Trevor Berrios. Yeah, he really cleared a path. Taylor Gomez kick is up and good, and the Raptors on the board. So Eagle Crest leads this one seven nothing early. We'll see if Cherry Creek has a response. Cherry Creek, well, most of their games have been. Won pretty handily. They have had some tests. For example, at Santa Margarita, they were locked in a tar uh, tight one out in California. That one finished 21-14. Kind of a low-scoring affair uh, in the first half, the just as this quarter. one's about to Isaiah prove Mechita to be. Two weeks another, later, they had another tight one against Pomona, at Pomona, in what at that point was the biggest game of their season. 35-34 OT yeah, victory. Yeah, OT win. What a game that was. Oh, that was such, that was one hell of a game. Came down to the last play in overtime. Yeah. ticket on sale now. Remember how this works. 50% of the proceeds goes to the Raptor Regiment marching band. Last night, Grandview came up with a huge Metro right East victory over Arapaho. What a great way to head into the weekend. Tonight we've got two games going on right now. On You're watching now. one of them, Cherry Creek on at Eagle Crest. Happening simultaneously, we've got Cherokee Trail at Overland over at the blanket. Stutler Bowl right now. And the enthusiastic lady waving her arm. So seven nothing Raptors, first and ten. So well, on drive. once the kickoff happens, it'll yeah. most likely be first and ten from Hopefully the twenty. First they already put it up on the scoreboard, <laughs> so they're they're anticipating this will go just as every kickoff pretty much has for both teams. Looks like you said Cherry Creek's been in some close ones. Eagle Cross has had a couple close ones too. Thirty six, thirty five. They beat Grandview. In a game that, that was on altitude as well, and that was one that I was watching, I don't honestly think that, that Eagle Crest should have won this one. They got dominated by Grandview, but Grandview slipped up in the fourth quarter. Gave I think Eagle Crest stormed back by like 21 or something oh, wow. in the fourth quarter, yeah, and um, ended up winning it on a Hail Mary on the last play. Really? So yeah, that's Hail how Mary they won of all this. plays. I know. Where they've so only done one <laughs> passing play. Oh, that's a big mistake, yeah, giving them great it, field position. Kicks it out of bounds, goes out of bounds, before even reaching the 20, so that's going to be, I don't know the rule exactly. Is that a 15 yarder, or what is that, 10? In high school. I'm pre well, in the NFL at least, it just goes to the 35 or the 40. Okay, so I wonder what in high school they're going to do with that. Uh, so Couldn't we'll quite start. Hear like oh, 40. Started. It's on the 40. Yeah, First 40. and 10 from the 40. So good field position. Mm hmm. Now they just got to take advantage of it. And this kind of is a big drive. You don't want to fall After behind. The illegal procedure penalty. Yeah. The ball will be brought out to the 35-yard line where the Bruins will Expect take the Bruins' uh, play calling maybe to be a little more um, 
just attacking a little more, less conservative, opening so, it up. So actually they're going to spot it at the 35 is where they go with it. So first and 10 from the 35, Pitya pitches it out. I believe that's Stacks. Stacks tries uh, to fend off one man, but he gets yeah. brought down. James Walker blown up in the back. Walker, yeah, that's James who it is. Yeah, James Walker. J.J. Augustus. Yeah, J.J. Augustus, senior, Elijah who also plays offense, Anderson, too. Taylor, EA Sports on the tackle for the loss. Raptors able to track down James Walker. 645 and counting left here Ball in just outside the, the second quarter. Line, where be second down for the Bruins. 7-0. Eagle Crest leads. So on second and 13 for Cherry Creek. Let's see what they can come up with. They send one in motion. The handoff once again goes oh, for he's about picked four. Up. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> The thing about the smaller backs, it feels like at all levels they get picked up by yeah. someone. The yeah. someone just come, their own team is just coming and just try to push them yes. for as far as they can. Just kind of stuck in the middle of that pile. <laughs> Walker, the ball carrier, once again. JJ Augustus combining on the stop. Ball spotted it just outside the 38-yard line, where to be third down and long. Halfway through the second quarter here. Yeah, we're locked in a tight one, 7 nothing defensive battle really between these two teams. I'm just waiting for the Bruins to take a shot, but haven't done much of that thus far. Yeah, they've been really conservative, like you said. In fact, they're going to go ahead and call a timeout right now. Didn't like something. They want to think over this uh, third down play once again. So we'll go ahead and take a quick pause as well. We'll be back in just a moment. Raptor fans, don't forget to come out to the Nest next Tuesday night as your varsity volleyball team in action. JV starts at 5.30, followed by the varsity. Come out and support your Raptor volleyball team as they prepare for the state tournament. So, third and six coming up for Cherry Creek. They really need this one badly. I mean, here late-ish in the second quarter, they, they haven't gotten much offensively going at all, so they need as much help as they can get. Padilla drops back. This was the oh, deep shot they were pressure. looking for. He's going down. Big hit. Not the third Alex down play Padilla they wanted. On the play for a loss. First there to so in the back it'll be fourth and Number six from the 38 Rachel yard line Jenny. is what they have spotted, but it's actually going to be way more than six. It's going to be like fourth and 16, if anything. Yeah, that was great. That was a great, Carson yeah, smell. great coverage. The punt for the Bruins. Back deep to receive for the Raptors. Kick is away. Go, Shorter wow, that kick. drops and goes out of bounds really easily. It's not even going to get Eagle Crest onto the Cherry Punch Creek side of the, out of bounds. or onto their own side of the field. It puts them on the Cherry Creek this side of the field right now. At the 44 yard line where the Raptors will take over. First and 10 down in Bruin territory. Raptors will take over. Under five minutes remaining in the first half here at Legacy Stadium. Come on, boys. Stop. Let's go. 
Yeah, great starting field position for Eagle Crest. We'll see what they can do with it. One in motion. They hand the ball off this time. The defensive line, though, saw it all the way for the Bruins. Goes for maybe Short a gain, gain of on one. Ball carrier, JP Lukatu. JP Lukatu, number 15, the, number the sophomore. Brandon Jackson brings up second and long for the Raptors. The runner on that one. Lukatu had honestly no stats heading into this game. Kind of makes you wonder why exactly they wanted to bring him in or had to bring him in. I don't know what this case was. We'll see if we can find that out. But interesting, he's been playing really well as James keeps it himself. James gets about five. Oh, James. might have lost the ball, but it was definitely after he. Yeah, it looked like he was down before he lost the ball. I think the ground caused it. And it looks like he ran like a little QB draw there. He kind of stood in the backfield for a second and then just took off. It really, it really seems like Eagle Crest is just trying to find space for him because he is so electric that they're doing whatever they can to get him space. Yeah, it's weird. It's just like a QB sneak every single play. <laughs> but it's working. They're up 7-0. Yeah, it's like a QB sneak, <laughs> uh, dive, option, triple option. <laughs> yeah, that's all they've done. And they did one screen pass. James keeps it himself once again, goes to his left, but Cherry Creek's defense is catching on finally to this pattern of running. So they stop him after, ooh, we'll call it a three-yard gain. Roll his way to the yeah, it'll be a fourth and... It seems like Eagle Crest just got to the point, I mean, uh, Creek got to the point where they're like, we're going to stack the box, and if yeah. you want to move the ball, you're going to have to throw it. Oh, yeah. Which is something they just can't or haven't proven to be able to do. You know, guys, stick with us at halftime. We're going to talk about all the turmoil surrounding this Eagle Crest season. They have had just so many things go wrong this season, and uh, we'll break it down and, and honestly commend them for how well they've they've battled through it all. On fourth and four, they look to go for it, but they're going to have to call a timeout, and I believe that they're going to punt it. Yeah, they should punt it. Yeah. They really could if their punter was able to – Give Cherry Greek some terrible field position. Yeah, just point. pin him deep. Yeah. On this timeout, we'll go ahead and stay here. Eagle Crest marching band out there getting ready to take the field during halftime. They'll perform in about 2 minutes and 43 seconds of game time. We'd also like to thank our sponsor for the 2018-2019 school year, Midfirst Bank. Midfirst Bank, true your money. So as the teams get set to break their huddles here, the refs are ready to go, and they're telling the teams that they should be too. So here they come on a big fourth down play that really should go for a punt, although we haven't seen the formation from Eagle Crest just yet. James is out there, not going to punt it. So they have four yards to go. My well, guess would be Eagle Crest either doesn't have a punter that they feel like they believe in to pin them deep, or they just have that much confidence in their offense to get these kind of this kind of yardage. Oh, he James lost the ball. Lost the football, oh, he's going to get it. He's going to go in for a touchdown. Oh my goodness! Dylan James breaks from fourth and four and turns it in to six points. He lost the ball, picked it up, and then just took it to the house. It looked like he dropped the ball. He did. He dropped the ball. A Cherry Creek defender was looking to dive on it. He picked it up, moved right aside, and took off. Yeah. He... Talk about the worst thing that could have happened on that play. Yeah. Even if it would have been great if he would have just gotten the first down. Now this puts Cherry Creek in an even bigger hole, down 13 nothing, going on 14 here with this PAT. I mean, I think this is... The sec, uh, tied for the biggest deficit Cherry Creek has faced all year. I think they were down 14 at oh, one point. Oh, against something the happened. It was a fake. He's They're going for it. Get it. Not oh. even close. Well, a little bright spot for this Bruins team. No good for the Raptors. Is he just dropping? That's just going to be more pressure on this Bruins so offense. Based on our um, what our guys could see on the camera, the hold was bad. It wasn't a, supposed to be a fake. It was just a bad snap, bad hold. They just kind of fell flat, so they just decided, well, let's try to run with it. 
Didn't go for much, so this will remain, like you said, Joe, tied for the largest deficit. Yeah. So, 2.34 left. I definitely think the holder did the right thing there. It's whenever, if something's not going wrong, just tr just get to the pylon, try and, yeah, just, try and at least get the points. Yeah, make your best effort. They were able to, they, they had a good shot at it. If he yeah. was just a little faster and could have turned that corner, he was in for, for two. Uh, although, is that how it works? Do you have to declare that you're going for two? I don't know. In no, you get. You, you would declare. get two. You would get two. You would get two. Back deep wow. for the Bruins, James this next Walker. drive is going to be really big for the Bruins. They have two and a half minutes. Seamus Henderson back Haven't deep. scored yet. Haven't really got a lot going. Mm -hmm. So even just to get momentum going a little bit on this drive, not even points. Points would be great, but even just a couple first downs against Robinson. Sink, that could be big. Yeah, this offense has, has really just stalled, to be quite honest. We've got 2.34 left on the game clock as we get set for kickoff. Kick is up, short kick once again, fielded at the 20 yard line. Looks like that's a Miles Purchase. Can't get around anywhere, so gets pushed out of bounds. It looked like he almost got the corner there. Three Miles Purchase for the return. So the offense will have just under two and a half minutes to work with. They'll try their best to get it, get something on the board at the very least. on the play by the Raptors, number 46, Garrett Lowe. Bruins will have 2.28 remaining on the clock to work with. First and 10 from their own 35-yard line. So Padilla lines up, trips right. Pass play, looks to the right, finds oh, his man, I believe good that's Penry. Tackle. Yeah, great tackle, brings Penry down. JJ Augustus with a nice open field tackle. Play by number 12, JJ Augustus. It feels like JJ Augustus has come up with probably four or five tackles already today. He, yeah, his name is being said. Name, yeah. Yeah. We've reached two minutes left now, under two minutes in this first half. Cherry Creek down by 13. They haven't put anything on the board. Trips to his left now for Padilla. Went trips right on the last one. Oh, Flag motion. on the play. That'll be on the Bruins. Yeah, for sure. False start. We'll see if they'll give us a number this time. Eighty-six, Vance Brazil. I think if you're Cherry Creek, you just try and get a chunk play, mm -hmm. make it third and manageable. Thirty-eight yard line, where to be a long second down play. Cherry Creek lines up in that same formation. Padilla looks left, finds his man. Oh, he got the first. Yeah, enough for the first, enough to get him onto their side of the field Padilla into a reasonable place. So that was Chase Penry, Penry. with the reception. Bruins first down into well Rocky. done by the Bruins, Bruins, and I think this is exactly what they needed to do. They need to get the pass Bruins game going because it seems like now that Marcus Miller isn't in, Bruins they decided to go away from it and test the running game, and they need to stick with the passing game because it's been so effective throughout the season. Yeah, running game just hasn't been producing a lot so far. He's under pressure. He's going down. Yeah, he's down. going down easy. Eagle Crest gets to him, and that's going to be a huge loss after a big play for Cherry Creek. Yeah, it looks like it was Matt Youngblood, defensive line Sacked senior. By Matt Youngblood. Yeah, you called it, Joe. Youngblood gets credit for that sack. Timeout taken by Cherry Creek. I believe that's her last timeout. Should be. With only yeah. a minute 13 remaining. That could be big. Mm -hmm. Brings up a second down for the Bruins. Bruins top. Take our final timeout of the half. Now you think that if they do get in a situation where they're tackled and bound, they're going to need to hustle up there, spike yeah, it, yeah. or they're just going to have to keep running plays. Situation up there. Although, Everyone on the field needs to be on the same. But looking at it now, they step. haven't. Oh, no, they did take it off now. Never mind. They did take it off. So, yeah, Cherry Creek out of timeouts. Eagle Crest still has one if they end up getting the ball back. But, on yeah. On second down here, yeah, that's unlikely. Like what you guys were saying, I mean, Cherry Creek's going to have to hustle. Oh, and, yeah. And just play smart. 
Mean, Points here would be huge, though. If they could score oh, yeah. a touchdown, that would just right back in this game. Well, and even a field goal, Mac Willis has been doing very well this season. After the timeout, it'll be the Bruins. Obviously, lots to go before we're in range for a high school kicker, though. So, Padilla drops back. Can't find anybody. Rolls to his left. Oh, he's... Yeah, he's... Oh, oh he, he oh, fumbled, fumbled the ball. ball. Falls oh, loose. No. Cherry Creek comes up with it, though. Yeah, Looks to be crisis up. averted for Tyler now Duke. as they got to spike this thing quickly, though, and get back. Yeah, under a minute. Tyler Dufour. He's having a great game. He's been all over this Double Cherry Creek offense. Domingo Prince. Up third down. Good heads up play by Domingo Prince falling on that football. That could have yeah. that could have gotten real bad if Eagle Crest could have ended up if they would have ended up with that. Time, Time out, Eagle Crest. Oh wow, so Eagle Crest decided to do something. They must not have liked what they were seeing out of their D. Third and it says thirteen on the scoreboard. This is probably closer to like twenty three almost. Yeah, I mean. third and twenty. Yeah. I think the smarter play right now is is to run the ball and just let the time run. Because yeah. they called that timeout because they think this is a passing down for them. Yeah. And if they don't complete the pass, clock stops. And I think they should just run it, let the clock run. Don't give them a chance to get the, to get the ball and potentially make a few plays down the field. And I agree. And the Bruins get the ball after halftime. So they're not in a situation where they need points. Right. They'd like some. But they don't need them. And they would just be in a big deficit. I think Eagle Crest gets the ball to begin the – Second half, because oh, you're right. You're oh right. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Eagle Crest deferred. Bruins went three and out on that first drive. You're right. Oh jeez. So some points here actually are, because if the Bruins get that kickoff and score, that'd be a big deficit. Good call though. So on third and twenty, we'll see if Padilla can work some magic here. Wide receivers even on both sides. Well, Looks right, he finds pass. Brazil, oh, who catches him. it! Brazil, down to the 21 yard line. He's someone you need to get involved in the game. He's a big target. Just right across the middle all day long. That was he, a great pass and a great and I think Vance Brazil can create some big mismatches, especially with his size. Ball spiked, bringing up second down and 10 now. That's a game changing throw. Yeah. What a nice route. I mean, executed to perfection there by Brazil to make sure he had no one even around him. Easy decision for Padilla. I think throughout the year we were always focused on Marcus Miller, Chase Penry, but mm -hmm. I, I think one of his underappreciated targets is Vance Brazil. Brazil, two touchdowns in the last game played for Cherry Creek, the Overland game two weeks ago, of course. You know, you know, now that I think about it, there could be a lot of reasons why Cherry Creek's offense it seems a little rusty, like we talked about. They're missing Marcus Miller. But this is also, they're coming off of what essentially functioned as a bye week, which is not usual in the middle of a high school sports season. So that could play a factor. You never really know. But So here we go. Padilla. It definitely is unusual because I don't think you ever have a no, bye I don't, week. This is the first time I've ever even heard of a game being forfeited like that. Padilla has oh. time to throw, but has to throw it out of bounds. Oh. Stacks with a huge block, yeah. though. <laughs> that was a big hit, too. Huge yeah. in terms of it, the timing and, and, like, it was a necessary hit, but also huge just based on the size of that hit. Yeah, just rocked him. 24.7 seconds left on the clock. Third and 10 coming I mean, up. Yeah, you can make the case that Padilla was, gonna, was about to get hit. Mm -hmm. Jaylee Stacks. Yeah, that was a big block there. Big situation. So here we go on, with 24.7 seconds left. Cherry Creek down to their last play, maybe last couple of plays. Let's see what they can do. Padilla drops back. Has a man. That's Got to get out of bounds. Pollard oh, can't get out of bounds, out. though. They got to hurry. Oh, no. Got to hurry. 15 seconds. 15 counting. Hurry. So, 10. Elijah We're under 10 seconds. Padilla's going to go for the final play. Five. Let's see what Padilla can do. Padilla looks for his receiver, oh, and he's going to get sacked. Up. Oh, no. That is a half-ending sack. Wow. wow. So that is not at all how Cherry Creek needed to end that half. I imagine Coach Dave Logan's going to have some choice words for his offense in the locker room. They came out flat, really have not shown much of anything, and Eagle Crest has surely come to play. Guys, I have a story before we cut to break just a little bit, but, you know, when I first got here right around 5.30, uh, Eagle Crest, was warming up to Ludacris's number one spot song. 
and the main line of that song is I wrote it down some along the lines of uh, like coming for that number one spot that's what they were warming up to obviously a subtle slash not so subtle message that yeah. they were ready for a battle and they've shown it today so we'll go ahead and take just a short break really I don't think we have any commercials loaded in so we're just going to kill the mics we'll be back in roughly two to three minutes we've got a long halftime is Wow, for some reason we have a 20-minute halftime. This isn't anyone's homecoming, so kind of wondering why. We'll see if we can figure that out as uh, well. I think they got a few, like the younger cheerleading, like oh. the youth youth ones. Yeah, on they top of the other And they activities. got banned probably. That makes sense. So, all righty. Well, we'll go ahead and cut to break. We'll be back shortly. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the field. 